So what we're talking about here is a body of work that I did with a Nobel Prize winner in chemistry from 2003, uh, a scientist named Rod McKinnon. And what Rod figured out was how ions move across cell membranes. And what I was interested in was the vocabulary of science and science being the paradigm for our time, this notion of technology, that the international language is digital and the international language is technical. So the project I'm working on now is called Health of the Planet. And I was spending time in Brazil and I was thinking, how could I spend more time in Brazil? I came up with this idea that if the Amazon are the lungs of our planet, I could give Brazil a medical checkup by taking x-rays of the lungs. So what I actually did was I went to the Amazon and I took x-rays of plants and animals. In this case, we're looking at a piranha, x-ray of a piranha from the Amazon River. And the dialogue, the world dialogue right now is between resources and, and the need for those resources. And one of the expressions of the need for those resources are the telephone wires in the slums of Brazil called favela. So in this piece, we have a, a mending, a mixing of the natural resources with the need for those resources. The consumption dialogue, part of the consumption is everybody needs these resources. So we're talking about, you know, mass migrations where people coagulate in the favela, you have this chaotic need for the resources, and then you have this other end of consumption, which is the high end of consumption, that has to do with fashion, to maybe stuff that we don't need as much of. But no one is exempt from this dialogue. It happens on the most expensive consumer level and on the lowest level of survival. So one of the things I'm obsessed with is books. And earlier we talked about uh, technology and science as one of the language systems. So I take other people's books and I silk screen in them. In this case, this is me, Steve Miller, scientific genius. And I silk screen on every single page of the book, sometimes many times. So when you have these books, you get like a different composition, a different print every time. And then another thing that I do is I make my own books from scratch. So in this case, this is what's called Amazon Analysis. And I take some of the x-rays that we've seen earlier, and I start printing them in, in these unique books that are one of a kind. In this case, we're looking at uh, satellite use. This is the mouth of the Amazon River. And then in this case, we have a self-portrait. To continue my obsession with books, I'm doing things with books where I'm screening into books that have already been published. In this case, this book here has been, it has 360 pages in it, and it's been printed on every page sometimes more than once. And I like this book because it shows again this idea of the natural resources of Brazil. And with 365 pages, you can take this book and you can change it every day and you could make a new composition with the sculpture each day of the year. So the most recent project that I'm doing right now is I'm making a line of surfboards. And I like the surfboard for a lot of reasons. One, it's an iconic image for Brazilian culture and surf culture is, is very important. It's, it's, it's like secondary to, to soccer, but it's a, a, an image of Brazil. The board is also some association with nature, the wave. And I like the idea of this uh, trophy. This was a live alligator, was not hurt. so. This idea of iconic trophy is something that interests me. This image right here is a fresh water river ray from the Amazon River. And you asked me earlier what makes something uniquely Steve Miller. And I would answer to that, it's the signature. <laughs>